My name is Steve Brostowitz, a teacher in transitional kindergarten, kindergarten, and first grade. Today I'm going to tell you about some activities you can do to teach the kids how to chart weather. Well, what we like to do is every morning the kids come in, they answer the daily question, and that's our way of taking attendance. The students take their picture or their name card and they move it over to the response they want for the question. So if the question is, what's your favorite animal? We might have five animals listed, and they take their card and move it from the bin to answer the question, and we just had them take attendance for us. But at the same time, they got to weigh in and give an opinion on a particular question, so on and so forth. Well, when it comes to the most variable weather month of the year, that's when we decide we're going to have a weather question every day. So in the Midwest, it might be November, where you might get some snow, some rain, some sunny days, and they'll have lots of different options. They'll really have to assess what is the weather like out today. You don't want to pick a month where every day it's going to be hot and sunny, because you won't have a good chart at the end of the month. So they come in and they answer the daily question. So you'll have something like this, and they'll move their name cards to answer the question, what is the weather like today? Sunny, rainy, cloudy. And on the chart paper, or on the smart board, or on the whiteboard, or wherever you keep track of this, you'll have room for more options. This is just an example of how you would set it up. And then once you get the responses in, and the kids have voted, oh, it looks to, like today, most of you think it's a rainy day. So let's go to our graph and graph that. And somewhere else in the room, you'd have it set up, again, on a whiteboard, or chart paper, or smart board, or a different bulletin board, and you'd fill in, okay, we had yet another vote for rainy. And as the month would go on, you would chart your days. And as it would go on, you'd have something like this, where you'd have two days of cloudy, one day of rainy, three days of sunny. And you'd go through all 30 days like that. And at the end, you'd have this nice chart of, oh, let's look, kids, how many days of rainy do we have? One, two, three. And they get practice counting. And you get to ask questions like, well, what, what have we had the most of? Snowy. And what have we had the least of? sunny and they're getting lots of their kindergarten skills embedded in charting the weather they get to vote they get to read words that are highly predictable like sunny and cloudies something that they can mostly sound out because you have the k -oo and the d in there and they can start to see those patterns and they get to count and they get to graph <laughs> so there's lots of skills embedded in charting the weather when you do it in this system this has been Steve Brostwood telling you how to have an activity surrounding the weather. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.